it's not just about poop. Definitely not about the money. It's so many organs to work with. Innovation. Hopefully I convinced you just a little bit. Hi guys, so to start off, gastroenterology is also known as GI. It's a specialty of internal medicine. So how I got here was four years of medical school, three years of internal medicine residency, and then three years of GI fellowship on top of that. In my case, I did additional fellowships in bariatric or weight loss endoscopy, a pretty new field within GI and advanced endoscopy as well. And I'll get into what that means uh, in a future video. So today I wanted to share my top five reasons as to why I chose to become a gastroenterologist and practice GI. Number one, the balance between procedures versus medicine. And in med school, I feel like we're often taught to identify if we like some procedural field like surgery more or something more that involves critical thinking like medicine. And in reality, there are several fields out there that actually offer both, a few of which strike a really good balance between the two. And GI is one of them. I get to not only have the instant gratification of using my hands on the scope to fix things, but I also get to think critically in that whole medicine-y type of manner. Every GI specialist is expected to learn the standard endoscopic procedures, those procedures where we go through the mouth with a camera. Yeah, up the other end too. Which, mind you, is usually pretty clean and is very important for colon cancer detection and treatment. So just so you know, there are some subspecialties within GI that actually skew more towards procedures, often very complex ones, like what I do in advanced endoscopy. And there are others that skew the other direction, you know, like liver doctors or hepatologists, those doctors may be working more on the medicine side and less on procedures. So in my case, my schedule is more procedural. I do procedures three full days out of the week, which is about 75% of my clinical work. Number two, variety. There are so many organs that are covered in GI. I mean, just look at the gut alone. You start with the esophagus and the stomach and the small intestine and the large intestine, AKA the colon. But then there's also the liver, the bile duct, the gallbladder, and the pancreas too. Obesity has also become a newer focus for gastroenterologists, especially with a lot of the cool technology that continues to come out. Now, this just all goes to show that there's a lot that can go wrong with all these organs. Bleeding, inflammation, cancer, stones, you name it and it probably can happen. Number three, interaction with other disciplines. Because we cover so many organs, a lot of the conditions that we treat fall into many different categories, including infectious disease, transplant medicine, oncology or the study of cancer, and autoimmune diseases. So it calls for collaboration with many, many different specialists and not just our anesthesia friends who keep our patients comfortable and asleep for all our procedures, but also oncologists, transplant doctors, bariatric surgeons, pancreatic surgeons, pathologists who interpret all the samples that we collect, and radiologists who help us interpret the imaging that helps guide all the procedures that we do. Sometimes we even work with other specialties on isolated cases like lung doctors. If there happen to be abnormal tunnels that form between the esophagus and the lung, eh, you didn't know that one. The number four reason, innovation. Innovation. Thanks to GI being a procedure heavy specialty, there's always new devices being developed to make procedures less and less invasive and to hopefully spare some patients a more complicated surgery or some other more invasive procedure. Don't worry, the surgeons have plenty to do with everything else that we're diagnosing, so. So in terms of what we can do, we can open up things using stents, cut things with electric knives, crush up stones, sew things closed with endoscopic suturing devices, poke at cancers with needles to diagnose them, feed people through tubes that we can place through the skin into the stomach, pluck and lasso out polyps and precancerous uh, lesions, and so much more. Okay, crush, cut, sew, poke, eat. Burn, 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 that's another one. Like we burn bleeding, we can also clip bleeding sites, we laser things. Anyway, you get the idea. Plus, innovation on the medication side. There's been big advancements in recent years like new medications that can basically cure most forms of hepatitis C, which was a much more difficult disease to treat even five years ago. There's also been a lot of study of the gut microbiome or all the interesting organisms that populate our gut and how it might benefit our overall health or how it might be related 
related to certain diseases out there. Number five, the people. I love the people I work with. And I noticed this early on when all my friends in training expressed interest in GI. So you know how some people describe different personalities for each specialty? Well, this was definitely true for me um, as I ultimately gravitated toward this field where I felt like these personalities really meshed with me. So anyway, these were my top five reasons to do GI. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what questions you might have. And don't forget to like with the thumbs up button down there and subscribe as well. Link below are all my social media channels, so go follow them please. Please. At Austin Chang MD. So see you next time. Bye. Thank you.